Good afternoon folks, it's my British Computer Guy here with another quick video for you. Today's video is not going to be with regards to my first passion, which is LED lighting. It's actually going to be to do with my second passion, which is Warzone. Um, and more particularly, it's going to be due to do with Warzone's Rebirth Island. Yes, Rebirth Island, as you all know, is coming back to Warzone season for Season 3, uh, launch date April 3rd. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers have done videos on this already, yesterday when it first launched, but I think a lot of them just glossed over a lot of the, the facts and a lot of the stuff that's going to be happening in the new season. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to share some inf information with you that you may not be aware of, uh, that I've not seen advertised anywhere else by any of these other YouTubers. Uh, so you could call this the Secrets of Warzone uh, 2020. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. And the first thing I want to show you is the, the map for the new island. So it looks pretty much identical to the last map. Uh, the island uh, layout is the same. Uh, there's a couple of minor details that seem to have changed. Uh, most of it is aesthetics. Um, so for example, chem engineering, chemical engineering, uh, looks now looks like it now has solar panels on the roof. Uh, the hatch, I believe, is still there, so you can still crawl down I'll jump into that third level of uh, chemical engineering. Um, but there is one thing that's an addition to the map that a lot of you may not have already noticed. And it'll take, it takes a bit of a keen eye. And I'm going to let you study this for a couple of seconds. OK, that's long enough. <laughs> All right. So I believe this has got to do with the uh, the waterways, maybe, and the, the underground tunnel system that's uh, coming into play with the, the new season. I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but I don't really know. I'm just going by the visuals right now. But I've compared the maps from the new map and the old map. So let's just go ahead and bring up the, the old map real quick. OK, so here we have the old Rebirth Island map. Now, what I want you to do is pay particular attention to this area right here. So just south of chemical engineering you have the the substation um, which is kind of where the power like the power for the island is generated I'm assuming. Now notice that we have just like these little pylons and this building over here to the left. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the the new map. What do you see that's different? Okay so yep you still have those little pylons but we also have a little hatch and more importantly, we have a whole new building. So not too sure what the purpose of this building is. Uh, I just know it's new. It's the only addition that I've spotted on the map that is completely new, 100%. Um, there are no other buildings that I can see that have been added. Everything else has remained the same. There's a couple of minor changes to things like the positioning of this, uh, this little jetty here. Uh, it's kind of more, it was more angled, I think, on the, the previous map so yeah, you can kind of see it kind of juts out to the side there but yeah if you look at this carefully we've got a whole new building and um, what looks like a little hatchway right here so i suspect this has got something to do with either uh, an easter egg um, a vault maybe uh, don't know what's on this side of the um, the building this side there's three doors and it looks like we have my windows here I'm not sure um, it could be a secure area it may not be it may be like on um, Vondel, where we have the door that's locked and it's only accessible via the underwater system. Who knows? But the other thing to notice on this particular area of the map is if you look right down here, there's a little shadow. If I can zoom in any further. There's some shadowing right here. That to me indicates an underwater entrance to the tunnel system. So I can guarantee this is going to be one of the first places I'm going to drop to investigate when this map goes live. Um, I'm really curious to take a look and see what else is going on down here um, and how these tunnels are inter interconnected. This may be an Easter egg. Um, it may be one of those long ones where you have to have the rebreather to go ahead and survive it. I'm not entirely sure, but I wanted to point that out first of all. That was the, the some of the first things that I noticed on this particular map. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and re-watch the promotional video without the audio. And we're going to look at a couple of different things. So, first things you notice. Okay, so you've got your team landing in. Uh, coming in the back of uh, Bioweapons Lab. You'll notice over here to the right-hand side, down by the shore, the shore is now accessible. OK, um, you have uh, like a ramp going into the water, which wasn't there before, before it's just a drop off. Um, you also have this little covering kind of awning over part of the walkway. Um, don't know if that serves any purpose. It's more of a, a maybe an aesthetic 
kind of thing. Not too sure. Um, but that's really all we can see in this particular this particular still. So let's carry on rolling and see what else we get. Okay, so here you can see the awning um, in a little bit more detail. I guess it provides a bit more cover from um, the de de decontamination area uh, from that building. You obviously, if, if you're walking around down here, a lot of the time you used to be able to get sniped or taken out by people on top of decom. That may add a little bit more layer of protection from people sniping or taking pot shots from the top of decom. Um, another thing to notice here is we do have a zip line. So this zip line here, I believe, uh, see so if you can see, attaches to this point here on the building, and I believe it goes up to one of the towers in the prison courtyard, one of the ones closest to this side of the map, um, which is kind of cool, makes another, makes it a little bit more ex extra interesting. Um, also notice there is a, a, a hole here. Now obviously you have this tunnel coming in, this pipeway, um, I guess it's a spillway for something or another, but it wouldn't surprise me at all if that's, you, that's part of the way you can access the underground tunnel system as well. All right, so let's keep going into this. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have one of the bunkers. Now, uh, if you remember back in Rebirth Island days, there were, I think it was four bunkers. There was one in Grandma's house or the building near Grandma's house. There was one in Factory or Nova 6 Factory um, on the lower level. There was one down by the harbour or kind of close to... Um, where was it? Kind of close to where the last scene was a moment ago. Uh, you'd go down there and there was like a you'd go down these the stairs down to the water's edge and just keep going uh, in this kind of direction and there was a bunker there i don't know if it was called the harbor i'm not too sure and, and then the other one was down facing the um, security area and i believe this one uh, is either the security area or the one down by the harbor um, i suspect it's probably the one by security area um, but I could be wrong. There's, other, other than the sky in the background, there's really nothing to see. Um, and that's how it, it's one of the two. Uh, I don't think it's unless they've added another one, which is unlikely. So let's go. Which is great because they used to have all those perks and they had the specialist perks in there. Um, they had the railgun in there and a few of the other really cool cool things that we like to play with. All right, so let's keep going. Okay, so obviously we have the swimming dynamic, and uh, obviously it looks like this is a, a tunnel or a sewer pipe, maybe. Maybe it looks a bit bigger, to, big, big to be a sewer pipe. This looks like an archway, maybe maybe out of concrete. And we've got, definitely got some foliage in the background here, uh, so obviously it's down by the water's edge. Got to keep an eye out for that one. Um, once again, no idea where they, these go. Haven't seen a blueprint for the, uh, for the island yet as to where the waterways are. But as soon as we get that, we'll try and get it posted. Okay. Uh, notice the uh, courtyard now is now filled with dirt. Uh, we have a, a med tent here. Uh, it's missing the ones looks like it's missing the ones that were further back here, which is kind of cool. Uh, other, than that, other than that, really nothing much to see. We do have the rocket launcher there, and this is where you normally at the top of the map, if you can kind of see where my, my arrow pointer is, this area here is where you would come out from the prison uh, showers. You take that little door out from the showers down here and out towards the missile launcher okay okay so as you can see in this still the prison roof is still in one piece as is the tower and i know in the, the video later on it does show these being destroyed and i think that's got something to do with something new that's been uh, discussed it's called infill strikes so it's been announced that the three there are three pois that are going to be affected by the infill strikes it's the water tower the prison roof and the lighthouse. Um, it's going to be one of three each game uh, and not every game. So it's going to be kind of random and you'll never know which one's going to be destroyed per game and there's no, never going to be more than one one POI destroyed at a time. So it's just going to be one per match. So you're not going to see the prison roof collapse and have the lighthouse, uh, sorry, the, the lighthouse tower collapse as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to, into, into the prison section because that's where the telephone was and that's where we get the bunker codes. Uh, hopefully we had the bunker codes to be able to go ahead and unlock that bunker um, and all the other perks that were previously inside it. Okay, here we can get another look of that new building uh, with the three doors that's down at the waterfront, down by the, the substation. Um, and also notice they've changed the colour scheme a lot. Um, it looks, kind of looks kind of Scandinavian-ish, if you ask me. Um, they've got a colour matching turret to the doors. Uh, but also notice there is a zipline here, uh, a zipline from this cooling tower from um, K-1. 
Kemenge. So you take the zip line from Kemenge all the way up to the, the top of the prison where that little hut is. It's that kind of right by there. So that kind of, is kind of adds a new dynamic to it as well. Okay, so now we get, okay, so there we go. Okay, see so here you can see the, the zip line that attaches to chemical engineering or the one part of Kemenge. Okay, attaches to that cooling tower there. Okay, and here's an interesting piece. Okay, so we have the watchtower there, which has always been there. And then we have the, uh, the, the cable car, the, like the tramway system that goes up to the edge of prison. Now, normally, uh, and you'll see here, this is where the cable car goes, but you can actually now zip line up that, which is great. And the cable car is still in operation, which is also cool. So that's another way of getting up there, whereas before I don't think you could do that. Okay, so now this is showing, this, this looks like a uh, bioweapons lab, looks like some sort of gas, maybe ether gas or Nova 6 gas, not too sure what's going on there. Looks like everyone's got their gas masks on. And then it looks like we're straight cut straight to the uh, prison showers. And there's something interesting in the prison showers I'll talk about here in a second, but if you watch this video. Okay, so, so there's the steps over there on the right hand side that leads up to the prison, uh, the prison block. And then here is that the doorway that would normally lead out to the, the courtyard on the left hand side or the outside of the prison on the right hand side. So I wanted to go ahead and clarify something about the prison showers that I noticed. So looking at this image here, um, if everything is correct per the original war zone map, then these stairs here would lead down to the rocket launcher and these stairs this, this exit here takes you out to the courtyard and the front of the, the building. Now, unfortunately, this is, what's weird about this is that I'm seeing trees through these windows. So there's something wrong with the orientation. I think, I think what's happened here is that the developers have taken some creative liberties and they've, they basically didn't like the angle that this was shot at when they, when they did the, the recording. And I think what they've done, I think they've reversed it out. Uh, they flipped it horizontally um, because these steps here should be going down but they should be going down the other direction this direction not uh, not away from the, ca the camera's perspective and these this door here because if, if this was correct that the staircase would be here so let me just go ahead and try something real quick because i'm seeing a part of a wall there that could be something to do with the the, uh, the other shower unit that was hidden behind a wall and that may be an exit there i don't know it's difficult to see because there's too much smoke but let's go ahead and edit this and then let's flip it over. Let's. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. All right, so now you can see. So we have the stairs going down to the uh, missile launcher through the tunnel. This stairs, this this exit here is the double doors that leads to the uh, the back area of the courtyard, of the prison, and also if you kind of double back on yourself, you're going out the front of the prison, which basically means the stairs going into the showers are on this side, but behind me. Problem. That's, that's figured that out quite easily. So basically what's happened here, I don't think they've changed the layout at all. It just looks like they took a creative liberty and flipped the image for the video in the in the trailer. Kind of confusing. Thought they might have made a big change to the uh, the way the showers were laid out. Because, but, uh, let's keep going. Okay, now, now we're in the prison block itself. So we've come upstairs, we're in the prison. Uh, a couple of things here to note. So we got down here by security area. Hopefully the uh, the vault's still there where we have the um, get all the perks and specialist perks. Okay, so this guy's been obviously just suffering from the effects of a flash grenade or a stun grenade of some kind. We can kind of see him coming around. This is here is where the stairs would be that go down to the the prison showers. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it right here. This section here, okay, where the light bar is there, this is where the telephone used to be. In fact, that might be the telephone right there to go ahead and get the combination for the 
bunkers. Now there's a guy up there, I don't know if he's turning this way to shoot people or if he's trying to access, listen to get the codes or he's activating something, it's not clear. Um, but it, everything's intact and it looks like it, you can still use it. Um, whether the phone's there, whether it's operational, I have no idea, don't know. Um, but as you can see, the roof is intact. And pay t particular attention to the the, uh, the fluorescent light there, okay? So now we kind of see the prison in with its roof gone. Uh, and this, uh, keep an eye out for that light. So people flying in and right, stop right there. So big hole in the roof. There we have that fluorescent light bulb. So that basically means this is the courtyard area or the quad, as I used to call it, of the, the prison cells. So a lot of the roof is gone. Looks like the cells themselves are pretty much still intact, uh, which means if there is a, 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 a secret uh, Easter egg that you have to complete, it looks like it's possibly still going to be completable. Uh, previously, you had to get the codes or the, the, the walkie-talkies or whatever it was from each of the, the cells, um, and then it would get the, make the phone ring. So that section here, right here is where the phone is. Whether or not that Easter egg is still going to be in here, I don't really know. We're praying that it is, because it's a fantastic one. It was so fun. Adds such a great dynamic to the game. But yeah, as you can see, that's where the phone would be. And that's also how vehicles get in there. Because um, when that, that tower falls, which is part of the infill destruction, it forms a ramp up against, and there's Makarov, forms a ramp up against the side of the prison. You kind of see this in the mobile version. When they go back to it, there you go. So there's the ramp that goes to the top of the prison, which is, is going to allow vehicles to get in there. Um, not too sure how I feel about that. I kind of like the the tower. I know one of my good friends, Mr. Blaze 2K, was a big fan of that tower for sniping. Um, so yes, yeah, a shame that that's gone. But once again, it's not the damage is not going to be in every single game. That infill damage is not going to be in the same area every every single time. Okay, and there you have it. That's pretty much it. I want to go ahead and show you real quick um, a couple of other things. I'm going to go ahead and talk about what's new for this particular season. Uh, Activision did release uh, some more information, I think it was yesterday, with regards to some of the perks and some of the, the weapons and skins that are going to be in this next season. Um, it doesn't really, it hasn't gone deep deep into the battle pass yet, but I want to go ahead and show you those. Okay, so looking over the Season 3 uh, details, um, the War Zone, the map, obviously we've got the Re Rebirth Island, modes and contracts, uh, we have rank play for Resurgence, and one, the next one is I'm, I'm really happy about is the Resurgence, Resurgence Champions quest, so the ability to go ahead and get a nuke. Uh, I don't think it's specified yet how many games you have to win to go ahead and uh, get on the Champions quest, but it's typically, I believe, three, you've got to win three games back to back. Um, to be able to go ahead and start the Champions Quest. So that's, that's really, really exciting stuff. Uh, there's a new contract called Spy Drones, and apparently uh, these little drones, I guess, uh, when you collect the contract, uh, there are several drones throughout the uh, map that you have to hunt down, locate, and destroy, and they dr drop things, everything from loot uh, to advanced UAVs. Um, I believe they can be intercepted as well by other teams, so be careful on that. Um, Features, we've got uh, Climb and Punishment Gulag public event. Um, we've got uh, so look, a, new, a new biometric scanner. And I believe what this is, is that there are certain biometric scanners that are dropped throughout the map. And uh, when you pick one up, it automatically adds it to your backpack. Uh, and when you get to a buy station, I believe it opens up a whole new section of the buy station where you can buy uh, new, new cool things. Um, or more like maybe like tempered vests and uh, durable gas masks, that kind of thing. Um, smart, new smart displays. I'm not too sure what that is as of yet. I haven't seen, heard anything on that. Uh, field, the field upgrades, uh, squad rage. I believe that is like battle rage, but uh, it's a squad based. So uh, if you're in the gas, what it does, it you, you drop it or you activate it, and it, it uh, vaporizes a certain ring gas around you say I'm not too sure how many feet or meters it is but uh, it's almost like a PDS system so it gets rid of the gas but it also gives anyone within that circle uh, the ability to have the uh, battle rage uh, or squad rage um, if somebody's outside the circle one of your teammates obviously they wouldn't 
get they wouldn't benefit from that but if they're actually inside the circle then they would benefit from that um squad assemble i've not seen any information on this whatsoever but i'm going to assume uh by the the image there that it looks like something to do with when you're infilling or you when you're dropping into the zone it's probably a little bit like fortnite where you when you initially jump in you, your squad all goes together um and you that you kind of land in the same area um I don't know if that's what it is. I'm just spec speculating. Uh, another thing I'm really excited about is the variable time of day. This is brilliant. Um, it means obviously we're going to have things like dawn, we're going to have noon, we're probably going to have dusk. Don't know if we're going to have nighttime or not. Um, but there's another part on here that you'll see in a second that uh, would indicate maybe that there could be uh, a night a nighttime mode. Okay, uh, returning we've got the uh, weapons trade stations, so if you can take your weapons, uh, the, the better the weapon, the, the better stuff you're going to be able to trade it for, uh, usually kill streaks, that kind of thing. Um, we also have the perk spe uh, the specialist perk package coming back, which is going to be awesome. Um, don't know where that's going to be located, that might be one of those things where you have to unlock uh, an easter egg to go ahead and get it, or accomplish a mission to be able to go ahead and get it. I'm hoping that it's the uh, key card one, the one that you get in the showers down in bioweapons, uh, and then you have to race to the stronghold stroke uh, security area. So I think you, you, that might be back in play, which would be awesome. Uh, killstreak Foresight. So the killstreak, the Foresight Killstreak was first introduced back in Verdansk back in the day. Uh, and I believe what it is, is if you, if you have that particular Kill streak. it allows you to see every single circle uh, right down to the final circle so you can kind of position yourself better within the game and give yourself a really good advantage. Um, so weapons, there are some new weapons. There's an FJX Horus that looks like an SMG. Um, there's also a, a Mors which looks like a battle rifle and we've got some sort of melee weapon which is the gladiator, some sort of knife thing and it looks like an AR, the BAL 27. Uh, there's a few new operator skins going to be in the battle pass. I'm guessing these may be premium ones. I'm sure there's probably going to be more than this, but these are just the call outs that they're making on the on this particular announcement. Uh, we've got a new Snoop Dogg uh, Battle Pass skin. I've got a good friend who'll be interested in that one. Uh, and there are some new vests as well. Um, gunslinger vest, uh, a modular assault rig, and a compression carrier. Not too sure what those do yet. Uh, haven't really looked into that. Uh, we have reinforcement boots and a high gain antenna. And I think the high gain antenna is basically going to um, expand the minimap for you, so you can kind of have a better, a better range and you can see further out on the minimap of pings. And I think if one of your uh, one of your other players has a comtech vest or a com vest then i think the uh their their pings will last longer uh when they ping on the radar so on the on the minimap so giving a bit more of an advantage which is pretty cool uh there's another weapon there oh no it's aftermarket parts so like we need more aftermarket parts right because there's so many of those already and then we see we do have some enhanced vision goggles which look like night vision goggles so i'm assuming the variable time of day that may lend us to a nighttime map or uh, a mode where we have uh, night vision enabled um, but you and you've got to pick those up uh, events there's a couple of events there's the uh, call of duty endowment uh, event that assists the, uh, the veterans which is really cool and then we have the vortex virus mainframe no idea what that is i guess we, there's going to be more to that yet to come uh, a few more skins there uh, godzilla versus kong great like we need more events with Godzilla and Kong. I don't know if that's an event or if that's just a. Yeah, it looks like a. Definitely looks like a an event. Um, we also have a couple more skins: Cheech and Chong and uh, a Blaze Up event gun. So I guess that's for one of the other events. I'm not too sure which one that is. But uh, there are several new maps for Modern Warfare 3, but I'm not going to go into those because really I just wanted to go ahead and discuss. Uh, it was mainly for Rebirth Island. Anyway, thanks all for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, hit the subscribe, and keep an eye out for more videos. And uh, tune in. Uh, we're going to be getting going live on April 3rd for the kickoff of Rebirth Island. And uh, normally we stream live every Friday and Saturday night from midnight till 3, so central time. Have a great night, guys, and I'll see you on the island. Take it easy now. Cheers.